All right, we're back. I haven't trolled that much, actually. Let's pretty much turn on the video camera. God, I wish I would have kept that fish on that one. I just love the fight. They are a really fun fight fish. Now, if they were this big at Kejimakuchik National Park. What's that? What's that cigarette button? Looks like it. I'm a little decomposed, but still, it's kind of annoying. Come over here fishing and you see dirty cigarette butts laying in the water everywhere. Make a turn. Not as tight. See, the more area I eliminate, the less tight, or the more tight of the turns. Sometimes that's not always the best. Sometimes they'll get tangled up. That's why I said when you're making these turns, make sure one line is longer than the other. Most of the time, they're getting tangled up again. Beautiful night, though. Not a breath of wind. We're supposed to get a big storm tomorrow. Getting a little shallow, so I'm going to move up a bit further. I want you to take a look at something here. If you know what bug this is, comment. But they're right above my canoe, and they're, you can't really see them with the camera on, but there's like hundreds of them. They're just staying right above the canoe and they're not even, they're not bothering me. That's happened to me a couple times before. Decent, decent white perch. They're all really nice. Oh, you can hear him shaking my voices. This is how exciting this is. Just stop for a minute just to show you that those flies. Trust me, now they're gone. <laughs> oh, I bet you this is the same one that hit that other one. Right in the corner of the mouth. This guy. Very shiny. Especially how dark it is. But nice fish. Oh my god, I can't believe how big these white perch are. It's unbelievable. Like, I've never caught this many perch. Especially white perch out on this lake. This is really fun. That's probably why I never really tried for them a whole lot. It's because... You know, there's not a whole lot of them. Or, now I know. There is. Bigger ones seem to be taking that bigger size lure, though.
through the middle of this big flat and start heading home because it's starting to get too dark for me. You need to know where you're casting. I draw the line at where you can't see where you're casting. After that, you know it's getting too dark. One bass, or no, one bass, three basses out of about a thousand white perch. I just seen one jump, so I kind of turned around. He's still jumping a little bit. Fishing has no schedule. Be middle of the night or it could be broad daylight. They're rippling everywhere up in here. Let's see if I can get out there a little more before I end this video. I wish I would have kept that big one on. Ooh. Big bass just jumped. Or who knows? <laughs> Look like a bass to me, the way they jump. Perch don't usually jump out of the water. A lot of the times they'll just kind of kind of come up and just touch the top of the water and it'll make a little ripple. Bass, man, they come right out of the water. I'm going to start heading home, see if I can hook up with a bass. Another perch, doesn't matter. Fish is fish. Drags squealing or the rod snapping up the side of the hole. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the back. I guess I'm not gonna get hooked up with another one, but I'll keep filming the way back. Just in case I do get hooked up with something. What was my 500? It's pretty much dark out. Stay tuned. <laughs>